Okay, so before starting this lesson, I just want to let you know that this lesson is coming from this book. And this is Microsoft's number one selling Excel book. And they asked Dr. Winston to write it. And the reason I'm telling you this isn't to buy the book. The content's free. Like we're, we're posting YouTube videos, right? It's more to let you know that you're getting a, a world-class education if you just watch the content. If the video's there, just watch the whole thing. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We're more than happy to help. The only requirement, if I answer the question what Dr. Winston does, is that we can make the video so more people can, um, can watch it, right? So we can have the solution for you guys and girls, and then we can post it to where other people can find it valuable. And again, uh, underneath in the description, there are going to be the start files and the ending files, meaning you can download them. No email, you, you don't need anything. Just click on the link, you'll automatically download the files and you can follow along and you can um, have the formulas in your spreadsheet or in um, Dr. Wilson's spreadsheet. And then we do offer a free 21 day course. Again, the link is in the description or you can go to um, excelwithwayne.com slash uh, free. And so yeah, but uh, again, if you do like this video, if you could comment and if you could like it and subscribe. And the reason for this is not just to be notified because you will every time we post a video and we're trying to post, I don't know, we're trying to do three a week, but I'm gonna start making content as well and we should hopefully be able to do one a day. And, um, and so yeah, but also the bigger benefit is that if you think the content is valuable, then by liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel, um, more people will see it. The algorithm of YouTube will push the, the video to more people. And so we just want to make sure that we can reach as many people as we want. It's free. It's YouTube, right? So like the content is there. And so we hope you find it valuable. And again, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment and um, I'll be monitoring it. And I'm more than happy to help, more than happy to answer. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. In Excel, it's quite common to have data that needs to be on a separate chart or a second axis. For example, if you wanted to chart the number of units sold as well as the value of the units sold, you would need to have two charts or a second axis. The reason for this is because say you sold one unit for $10,000, the chart would be hard to understand. Being able to visualize data will help your organization better communicate as well as have a better, quicker understanding of the data. Having just numbers on a spreadsheet is a lot harder to digest than having a chart. Dr. Winston shows how to select and use a combination chart in Excel and shows how to add a secondary axis in choosing either a line or a clustered column. Okay, we are now going to start a discussion of charting. And basically, charting is simply tricks. Okay? And so we're going to open up a file combination and start talking about combination charts, which are pretty simple to do in Excel 2013. Okay, so first thing you have to know about creating charts is you've got to select the data first and then pick the type of chart. And charting changed a lot from Excel 2010 to Excel 2013, and we're going to do the charting in Excel 2013. I mean, for most of these charts, you should be able to figure out how to do them in Excel 2010. And we might do some videos on Excel 2010 at a later date. Okay, so let's suppose we have sales each month, actual January through July, and we have the chart get January through July, and we might want to just simply show this in a column chart. So you do insert, and we just pick column chart, and this is fine. Okay, so we now have a column chart, and I mean, if you want to put a title on there, you can just click here, say sales. Okay. Now, the problem with this is there's no contrast between the bars there, okay? And so we might want to create what's called the combination chart, okay? And change series chart type would let us go to com combo, or we could have gone directly to combo. And this is new to Excel 2013, this combo thing, but I can just make one of these a line chart. And see, that looks a lot nicer, I think, because there's now a contrast okay from the line to the bar chart I did a court uh, uh, to the column I did a court case once and I done all my charts with just column charts and then the lawyer smart intelligently told me hey you should change some of those columns to lines because the contrast becomes fairly obvious okay now let's talk about a secondary axis and this also involve a combo chart so here we have units sold and we have revenue so maybe these are diamond rings being sold to very rich people Okay, because the average price there is about five minutes. So we want to summarize this data. And here the file will be secondary axis.
Okay. And so let's suppose we want to graph this. We'll just start out with column chart. Well, we'll do, we can do a combo chart. So we do insert, and we can go right to combo chart menu if you want. Okay. Uh, combo chart is right here, sorry. Okay, so a line and a bar. That's, that will be fun. Okay, so the revenue is huge, and the bar is the number of units sold is blue. We just can't see what's going on there. Okay, so now if I go right-click chart type, actually, change chart type, and I go back to that combo axis, combo chart. You can always right-click on a chart and do change chart type, and right-clicking on a chart often gives you helpful options. But I should change the blue to be a secondary axis. In other words, the units are so small, they don't show up on this axis relative to the revenue. So I should check units, a secondary axis, and voila, I have a really nice chart. Okay. So I've got sales there. And you can see the secondary axis show, would combine with the first axis, which is the revenue, and the secondary axis is the units sold shows the units sold and the revenue basically exactly track each other. But basically, the first chart we had was fairly useless. I mean, even if we had a column chart, that would have been useless. A column chart with a line would have been useless without a secondary axis. So a key thing in Excel 2013, again, if you select the data, and you go to insert, okay, and you go to combo chart here, you get a lot of choice. Uh, you get a lot of choices. Okay, like if I would break, uh, right click, change series chart type. You can put secondary axis in, you can change the type of chart that you have for each of the series that you're graphing. And that is very powerful and I think very useful. All right, so now that you watched the video, you know, we hope you like this stuff. I mean, we're gonna be posting a lot of content, hopefully. Um, the goal is to do two to three of Dr. Winston's videos a week and then three to four um, or five, you know, the goal is one a day, so seven of me producing uh, content or me answering questions, you know, from people and stuff like that. I mean, you, you guys probably don't know me and girls, uh, but I'm an alumni of Dr. Winston's. I am a consultant in Excel. I, you know, I do this stuff for a living. And so, yeah, if you have any questions on this or in general, leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Uh, not Not so much just so you get a update but more because you know if you think this video is good or you like the content and you think other people will like the content as you like and as you comment and as you subscribe uh, YouTube the algorithm is going to push this to other people it's going to it's going to be on their home page you know people searches and stuff like that and so our goal is to get this content out you know to as many people as possible I mean it's free um, but it's really really good um, I'm an alumni again of Dr. Winston's and I can personally you know, vouch for it uh, because I, I, I was in his classes. I took all of his classes. I took his marketing analytics. I took uh, his data modeling classes, stats classes, financial anal analytics class. Like I've done it all. And it's just amazing content. And the challenge with YouTube is there's not in-depth content. As to where with this, you have really, really in-depth content. And so, yeah, any questions, let me know. Leave a comment, and I'll be there to help. Thanks.